Break and retest. Support once broken becomes resistance and resistance once broken becomes support. Let's take a look at this illustration. So we have resistance right here, rejected it twice, and then the third time we had a breakout. So we made a higher high. So after higher high, we can assume that we will create a higher low, right? So we can expect that this higher low could possibly establish at previous resistance level, okay? So this resistance level can now act as a support. So that's uh, what we call uh, break and retest. So resistance once broken becomes support, all right? So let's have another illustration. So we have support level right here, rejected it twice, price moves up, and then eventually breaks down. So this previous support level can now act as a resistance. Let's have an example, GBP AUD, 30 minute time frame. So coming from a downside move, established a support level right here moved up creating a lower high and then moved down breaking this previous support and made a lower low so after this lower low we can expect for a lower high now this lower high ended at resistance level so this resistance level acted as a support before all right so support uh, once broken becomes resistance. So price established a support level right here and then aggressively moved to the upside, breaking this previous resistance, made a higher high, then pulled back to create a higher low. Now this higher low was established at support level. All right, so looking left, this support level acted as a resistance before, all right? So price moved up and then tested it again for the second time, third time, and then eventually moved to the upside, breaking this resistance level, okay? So price made a higher high. So since we have a higher high, we can expect a higher low right so impulsive move and then corrective move higher high higher low now this higher low ended at support level so this support level looking left acted as a resistance before all right another example crude oil for our time frame so we have uh, rejection right here and then another rejection right here so this level act as a resistance all right so we have a uh, we had a very aggressive move to the upside creating a higher high and then we can expect a pullback to create a higher low now, this higher low was established at support level, all right? So, this support level was resistance before, okay? So, resistance acted as a support, all right? So, price uh, rallied to the upside, tested this level again for the second time, rallied to the upside, tested this level again for the third time, and then eventually price moved. To the upside so after this aggressive move to the upside price a uh, price breaks through this previous resistance okay and then pulled back to that uh, to that previous resistance and now acted as a support level so as you can see uh, our structure so from here we have an upside move creating a higher high corrective move 
creating a higher low. This higher low was established at previous resistance now acted as a support. Alright, and then move to the upside. Another example, British pound Japanese yen for our time frame. So we have support level right here. So rejected once, twice, and then resistance right here. Rejected multiple times. Alright, and then eventually breaks out to the upside creating a higher high. So this level acted as a support. Right, so previous resistance turned into support, creating a higher low. All right, and then price aggressively moved to the upside again to create a new high. Okay, so after this higher high, price pulled back to create a higher low. Now, this higher low was established at previous resistance, now turned into support okay and then impulsive move to the upside again creating a higher high and then move down creating a higher low at support level okay so uh, previous previous resistance now turned into support all right gold daily time frame so we are in a downtrending market so from here we have a support level so rejected it twice and then moved up and then breaks down so created created a lower low and then lower high established at resistance level right so a uh, previous support turned into resistance okay then move down again, breaking this support level. Now this support level acted as a resistance. Alright. Then move down again, creating a lower low. Right. Breaking this previous support. Okay. And then pulled back to create a lower high. Now this lower high established at resistance. Now uh, this resistance level was a minor support before. Okay, so uh, this level acted as, as a support and a very shallow bounce from here breaks down, tested it as a resistance. Okay, and then move down breaking this previous support and then again after creating a lower low price pulled back to that level and tested it as resistance okay usd jpy daily time frame so downtrending market uh, we have a support level right here higher low right and then a move down a very aggressive move down very impulsive creating a lower low all right and then lower high now this lower high was established at previous support now acting as a resistance all right and then move down move down again breaking this previous support or previous lower low and made a new low all right and then price rallied to the upside, testing this support level, now acting as a resistance. Okay, then move down, tested it the third time, and then got rejected again, creating a lower low. All right, and then lower high. Now this lower high ended at previous support, now turned into resistance okay 